All right, welcome back, everyone. We are on episode four of Harada Bitter Breath's Adventures into Skyrim. So we're picking up pretty much exactly where we left off in the last episode. Uh, we have all of our weapons and everything ready. We have Mark Hero here. And it's around, it's almost 10 p.m. And I figured what we might do is just continue a little bit deeper into the, uh, into the Ratway here. Just to get a little bit more uh, combat XP and... Oh, okay, we are engaged in combat. Oh, okay, I think they have a bow. Or maybe it was him trying to cast something, I can't tell. I know, this This is such a wonderful character. It's... Whoa! Oh my goodness! Okay, we need to be a little bit more careful here. Hey, we got an illusion level out of it, so that's pretty good. Oh, Thanks, Mercurio. Oh, I hear someone talking. Oh, nice! Gold aquamarine necklace. They're like 400 gold. That's pretty good. And some bread, if we really want any. Hello? Who's there? Oh! Oh! Wow! Whoa, whoa. Show me what you got! That takes care of oh, okay. Nice job, Mercurio, because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we would have taken that shot to the head. Let's see, 40. Uh, we can... I don't think we're going to carry that. It's not exactly the best weight-to-value ratio. Oh, oh, crap. Whoa! Mercurio, help! Mercurio, good lord! Fight! Mercurio hit him with magic! Oh, what the heck? Take these, and uh, we can probably sell that. Right? The steel war axe, we can probably... Uh, yeah, we, we have enough carry weight, right? We can sell those. Good lord. Why wasn't Mercurio, like, fighting? We out of Magicka? There was one other person. <laughs> there we go. Shouldn't have attacked me. Oh, so stressful. Okay, well, if anybody was down there, they're they're dead now. <laughs> Might have been skeevers or something. Who knows? I'll have to go and check. Anybody else down here? Or Elven Gauntlets of Deft Hands. Pickpocketing is 20% easier? What? That is fantastic. They're slightly less good than those, but hell yeah, we're gonna take those gauntlets. Excellent. I guess we'll take the, the Steel War Axe, and we, uh, we can't really afford to carry those anymore, unfortunately. See this way? No, the other way. Nice. Our carrier was pathetic. Mark, he almost got us killed! Like, I do not appreciate almost dying like that. Anybody down here? See if we can't pick this. Is that it? No. Wish we got a little bit more XP every time we broke a lockpick. Eight, there it is. Nice. Hmm. 
That's what we got. Draven's light bow. All right, I guess we're we're taking Draven's bow. Oh my goodness! All right, here we go. So let's see. Lots of septums here. So this is basically like we're paying for Mar Marquero's paying for himself here by us finding all this. What we got in here? Another fifty-four gold. I can see why they were so eager to fight us. Goodness. So we got that one, and uh, this one should be even easier. Yep. Perfect. Ancient texts. Uh, are we going to process ancient texts? I don't think we're going to take those. We're not going to be doing any spell research like that. Ah! Oh no, it did work. Look. Yay! And then we just kill it. Right? Yeah. I was about to say, the skeever's dead, right? <laughs> Anything back here? I don't think so. Hmm. I was like, bro! Come on, man. Keep up. You're my bodyguard. <laughs> Spoopy around here. Oh, got a potion. Rude potion. I think this is the the Warrens is the very end, right? Ugh. All right. Buddy, or nice book, ink pot, stone. No, no, no. Oh, this is a crazy lady that lives in here, right? She ain't gonna bother anyone, so... We won't, uh... I mean, I, I think we can go in there and... Like, pickpocket her for training if we really wanted to. It's down here. Hmm. Anything this way? This might be a dead end. Oh my god, it just... Yeah, it just literally led us around in a circle. All right, we have a sleeping guy. We could steal his rags, but that doesn't seem very, uh... Ooh, okay, I'll take all his gold, though. Anything else? <laughs> no, never find me. Officer Helmet, too spoopy for me. You must be a retired soldier. Put out our light. Knife. Yes. Uh, all right. This person. Bucket. What do you want? Yes. What do you want? Ink pot. No. Oh. Ah. I'm gonna eat Come well on. tonight, my darling. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> We're the ones who are gonna eat well tonight. Oh, so let's see, a linen chef's tunic, and then a chef's hat. Nice. I guess we're the butcher now. <laughs> oh, did she leave? Yes, she did, she opened her door. Where'd she go? Oh no, there's a mad woman on the loose. That's not terrifying. No, we... Yeah, we came out of there. Right? So... We could make... We could become someone's friend and sleep there. Oh my god, look at all these freaking rats. But I... I actually... You know, we're not gonna go to sleep yet. We... Need to go take care of a, uh... What is it? A certain certain person in charge of an orphanage. What can I get for you? Wait Don't here. Don't make me wait too long. I get bored very easily. Okay. Well, just try not to light anything on fire. 
or or try to light things on fire, maybe. Right? What, what are we you doing? Out? Try not to walk into any spike-filled pits. Yeah, can, come spirits. over here, right? Let me I'm be more boss. specific. Guard this spot. So there we go, right? All right, let's go in. Those who shirk their duties will get an extra beating. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes Skrillet. Yes, Skrillet. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. <laughs> why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, girl. girl. Thank, Thank you for your kindness. Your kindness. kindness. That's better. Now scurry off, my little gutter snipes. Alright, we'll wait for everything to cool down a little bit. Hopefully, here we'll turn off. Oh! Don't move! Okay, hello. You really shouldn't be here. Is Grelod always like that? Sadly, yes. Even the townsfolk have taken to calling her Grelod the Kind. Her very existence has become something of a running joke. Grelod runs this orphanage because she's old and set in her ways and doesn't know any other life. These children need love and comfort. I try, but I'm sorry. You should go. The children aren't up for adoption, and it's cruel to get their hopes up. Besides, Grelod hates visitors. Hmm. All right. If there's nothing else, I really must ask you to leave. Let's see. Do we have any poisons, like good poisons in our inventory here? Um, hmm. Let's see if we can't. So I wanted to test this out, which is the ability to reverse pickpocket a poison to kill someone. But, hey, there we go. Perfect. Were we caught? I don't know if we were caught or not, but. Someone has killed Grillin. I yield. I yield. I cannot fest you. I bet you did it. Oh, calm down. Oh, okay. He got the Dark Brotherhood to kill old Grillin. Hurrah! Hurrah! Hooray! Well, we'll. <laughs> well, at least the kids are happy. Unfortunately, we incurred a 500 gold bounty while doing that. So, figures. Do we have any stolen items on us? I, I don't think we do. I think we're all set. See, that's why you always deposit all of your stolen goods. So, we'll see if they, uh, if they confront us. Come on! Oh, she's still running get going? around. Excellent. Mercurio, please do not, like, murder anybody. <laughs> All right, let's... Let's go. I don't know if they're going to let us pay our bounty, or... I think we might have to talk to a guard, just because... Let's see. Wait, I know you. No, 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 no. So we're just gonna be wanted. That's fine. Protect yourself, right? Buy armor from Grelf. Never done an there honest we go. day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Hey, I mean, uh, huh? I'm saying you've got the coin, but you didn't earn a septum of it honestly. Hey, we I can tell. We found some soldiers on the ground. We didn't kill them ourselves, right? My wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. What do you have in I've mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. All right, what do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're going to steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under his stand. Mm -hmm. Once you have it, 
I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll do it, but why plant the ring on them? There's someone that wants to see him put out of business permanently. That's all you need to know. Now, you tell me when you're ready, and we'll get started. All right. Um. I'm ready when you are. I Just think I'd like to wait until it's a little bit darker. So it's he. It says like meet him in the daytime, but what I'd like to do is meet him closer to around seven. So we can try skinning an animal. I don't know how long that will take, but I think we'll give it a try. We'll we'll try skinning one wolf. Pass the time a little bit here. And if not, then we'll just spend more time skinning to wait for the next day, right? So, we'll start with a field dress. That, oh my goodness, that passed it by like 45 minutes. Um, let's do a quick save, because I'd like to go do that around like 7.30. So hopefully this will bring it 45 minutes past. Uh, yes, that is exactly the time that I was looking for. Perfect. Now, uh, we'll have a quick snack here, I guess. So we have we have plenty of human flesh, so we'll, you know, snack on that a little bit. And we should still have enough time to do this. Okay, lass. Ready to make some coin. Oh, we could buy one of his elixirs. We'll, uh, we'll do that later, right? I'm ready. Let's Good. do it. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. All right. Turn our light out. So we have to have to wait. <laughs> She's still yelling in the background. You gonna start? Hold on. All right. Technical difficulties. We're gonna try and get him started. When I'm done here, I'd be more than happy to sell you an elixir. Jesse's in. Come on, come on. Medesi's in the way. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. I don't know if we ran out of time or he's leaving. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll take everything. So, we're planting it on that guy, right? I don't know if this is gonna actually work or not. I think we're supposed to plant it on, yeah, we're supposed to plant it on this guy. So now we just kind of have to follow him, right? Bernie Offal, what do you have to say for yourself? How long did you expect me to keep those people distracted? I had to let the whole plan fall through. Well, at least you didn't do anything stupid. Next time when you're given a job, don't wander off or take your sweet time. D you didn't I I distract anyone, bro. Nothing around here has been going well lately. Okay. Nah. Oh, okay. The organization's been having a run of bad luck, but I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. Even though you fouled up the job, I still think you've got the spark I'm looking for. There's plenty of gold out there for the taking, if you're up to the challenge. I fouled up the job, huh? I fouled up the job. All right. I Well, I can see why you're having trouble. I can handle it. All right, it. then. Come on. Let's put that to the Looks test. like you need some help. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riftum, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece. And we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Hmm. Ah, well, we've already cleared that out, right? We, uh, we'll say we heard a rumor, but I was just eager to end that last episode with some combat. It's really what it was. I guess we get to keep his ring. Okay. Excellent. Right? It's worth, it's worth 10 gold. It's barely even a ring. It's like a metal loop, I guess. Excellent. Well, what we can do is we will grab all of our stolen booty 
and make our way down there and sell it. So I'm more than happy to accept that. Hey, there he is. Yes, Lance. Did you need something? Is he gonna talk to us? I... I'm confused. Oh, he is leading us through. Okay, he's leading us right through into the, uh, the secret hideout, I think. Hidden spooky cistern. Yes, Lance. Did you need something? Okay, what now? Oh, what? What? What is going on? Ah! Okay, this, hold on. Hold on. This is obviously some sort of really weird bug. So we're gonna roll back. Because I don't know why, like, is this part of it? Like, what the hell's going on? I think we're about to crash. Yeah, like something really weird just happened. Okay. I I can't even hit escape. So that was super weird. <laughs> okay. Uh we're we're going to have to close out the game cuz it's it's not responding. It's literally not responding. Like we're we're, we're stuck here. No command, prompt, nothing. It's just effed. Well, that was interesting. Okay. All right, so we're we're back. We did a rollback to before we skinned this wolf or uh, harvested the ingredients out of this wolf, right? It is now 7.50. Um, we tried to figure out like what the next step was for joining the Thieves Guild. Brynjolf wasn't talking to us. We don't really know what's going on, so we're, we're just gonna have to kind of do a look back. Um, we'll, we'll probably keep the fun footage in there just to show everybody what the heck happened, but we'll, uh, we'll pick up the story from here, right? So it's, so it's slightly darker, at least, I guess. Last half full type of guy. Okay, lass, ready to make some coin. Are, are you ready? Brynjolf, are you ready? Let's, you know, I'm ready. Let's get this Good. started. Wait until I start the distraction. Then show me what you're made of. Okay. Everyone, everyone. Hey. Gather around. There we go. I have something amazing to show you that demands your attention. This way, everyone. Over here. Perfect. Gather around, all. Gather round, dog. Oh, okay. We're visible. Who sees us? No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. All right. No. Oh. You need to hear this. Who keeps like glancing over at us? No pushing, no shoving. Plenty of room. Come on, bring it on. What is it this time? Patience, Branche. This is a rare opportunity, and I wouldn't want you to get left out. All right, we're gonna. That's what you said about the wisp essence. We're gonna try and be quick. Be what is? Is it the chicken? Well, is the chicken the watching us? I think the chicken was watching us. You know those chickens? They'll report you for crimes. They'll do it. They'll do it. Right. So far, Girl, so good. This item and take is the real away. thing. 
Like, we are going to accomplish this. One way or another. A bit lower, maybe? No, higher, higher. Someday. Luck. All right, Medesi's ring. Hey, we still get that circlet, too. Molasses, I give you, if you say so. Falma blood elixir. It was literally the chicken was watching us. We felt felt self-conscious. Mystical beings who live in legends were masters of great magic. Imagine the power that coursed through their veins. How did you get that then? No one's seen them in years. My sources must remain a secret for their own protection, but I can promise you that the contents are genuine. One sip of the... All right, here we go. One... Medesi's ring. Well, I see that my time is up. Come back tomorrow if you wish to buy. Hey, what hey, a wait, waste wait, of wait. time. Damn. What's up, bro? I knew I shouldn't have waited. Looks like I chose the right person for the job. And here you go. Your payment. Just as I promised. The way things have been going around here, it's a relief that our plan went off without a hitch. Yeah, sure. What, what's been going on? Yeah. My organization's been having a run of bad luck. But I suppose that's just how it goes. But never mind that. You did the job, and you did it well. Best of all, there's more where that came from. If you think you can handle it. Yeah, I can handle it. All right, then. Let's put that to the test. The group I represent has its home in the Ratway beneath Riften, a tavern called the Ragged Flagon. Get there in one piece, and we'll see if you've really got what it takes. Beautiful Vegetables as Christmas. All right, quest completed. Over here. There we go. So it didn't start the new quest, taking care of business. Excellent. Okay. There we go. Right? Now, uh, now we should be able to move forward. We're, we're going to head back. We're going to grab all of our uh, stolen goods. And we'll probably skin a couple more wolves, and then we'll meet Brynjolf down there around 10 p.m. That's the plan. Give it up, Brynjolf. Those days are over. I'm telling you, this one is different. We've all heard that one before, Bryn. Quit kidding yourself. It's time to face the truth, old friend. You, we certainly Vex, are different. Mercer, you're all part of a dying breed. Things are changing. Dying breed, eh? Well, what do you call that, then? Well, well. Color me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Yeah. Uh, let's... I don't know why I bother. This place is a mess. It is a mess. We looked around a little bit earlier. If you were expecting a palace, then maybe you're not cut out for this line of work. Our methods involve secrecy and discretion. Now... If you're done belly aching like a child, how about handling a few deadbeats for me? Deadbeats? Uh, what they do? They owe our organization some serious coin, and they've decided not to pay. I want you to explain to them the error of their ways. Okay, who? Kirava, Percy Honeyhand, and Helga. Do this right, and I can promise you a permanent place in our organization. Uh, how do you want me to handle it? Can we, uh, you know, cut off a few pieces? Honestly, the debt is secondary here. What's more important is that you get the message across that we aren't to be ignored. A word of warning, though. I don't want any of them killed. Mm. Bad for business. <sighs> All right. Fine. Will I get a cut? Of course you'll get a cut. We take care of our own. Now, if you need any details on your marks, I'll be here. Get going. Uh, let's... Let's get some tips, right? Any tips about Kirava? Kirava's stubborn, but she's got a soft spot for family. Talk to Tal and Jay at the Bee and Barb, and see if you can get something out of him. They're well acquainted, if you catch my meaning. Okay. What's up with Helga? Why? Helga is a devout follower of Debella, and dotes over the statue to the Divine that she keeps at the bunkhouse. Use it as leverage, and she'll cave. Okay, Let fair enough. Um, who is Bercy again? He's as pig-headed a man as you'll ever find. The key is that ugly dwarven urn in his shop. Smash that thing to bits and he'll change his attitude. 
All right, smashing things. Sounds great. I'll be here when you're done. Perfect. All right, so things things seem to be going, you know, on their normal path. Um, I guess we'll start with Helga first because that will allow us to pick back up the uh, the Marks of Dabella quests. Because as if you remember, we rolled back, so we no longer have that quest as active. Um, we had started it because we were trying to figure out how to fix that, but we'll uh, we'll start it again, I guess. In those witch elves here Let's for Let's see if we can buy. Drink for the thirsty. Before she hates food us, for the hungry. right? Can we buy any beef stew from her? I don't see any, which is frustrating. How about uh, raw beef? Don't see any of that it's either. Well, I have a message from Brynjolf. Yeah. I've already sure. told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. Uh, it was never a request. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. Oh, we can fight her. Should we just fight her? So I'll, I'll leave it up to chat, right? We can fight her or we can go like the the more peaceful persuade negotiation route. What would you all like? Well, we'll see because the other option is talking to her. Fawn Fawn Roo, where, where is he? Where is he? Maybe he's upstairs. He's around here somewhere. What's the character most likely to do? That's a great question. Um, oops. It's not what we were trying to do. Why? What do you want? <laughs> nice. Um,. You might want to talk some sense into Kirita. With the rumors going around Kirata. about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Help me convince her to Look, pay. I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Mm, fine. What's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? No beef stew. If you'll excuse me, All right. I have other things to attend to. Where, where, oh, I was like, where are the stairs? I say we go for the brawl. But we're gonna need a snack. We're gonna need a... Uh, so, so we are a cannibal, right? Uh... As somebody mentioned in chat, why do you have flesh in your inventory? Because we're a cannibal. So we'll need the stamina. And what else? Um, I think we'll switch over to uh, these gloves that we have right here, right? Extra punch damage. You want something or not? Uh, you ready to pay? No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. I mean, um, oh, it looks like we don't have an option now. Maybe I should visit that farm from Morrowind. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. And pay. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. All right. Fair enough. Next up, I'll go at the bunkhouse. I was hoping we were gonna get a uh, a persuasion check out of it. You but lost. I guess not. My lost. If you're looking for a room, try the B and Barb. This place is for the working man. What does she have for Take sale? A look. Oh, she's willing to sell her or sell us her amulet of Bella. That's interesting. Uh, I have a message. What for does Vernier. he want now? I already explained to him that you can't get blood from a stone. Let's just fight her. Ha! We'll then you'll see pay with more than coin. Get her! Come on! No! Come on! 
the thing is, I think we actually don't get so as bad. high of a reward because she isn't technically going to pay the gold. I'm not sure though if she actually pays. Get her! <laughs> wow. Here, take your damn coin oh. and get out of here. Excellent. Here was the statue, by the way. We're gonna steal the statue anyway. That's the type of thing our character would do. Oh, there's Honeyside. It was a quick. Don't threaten me. Don't flare your knife at me. Who's that guy think he is, huh? You. Oh, no. You're the one from Brynjolf's outfit, aren't you? I'm here with a message. Oh, there's no need for that. I know why you're here. Tell Brynjolf not to worry about it anymore. Oh, and uh, look. I even have the payment I owed. <laughs> here, take it. Huh. Interesting. I, uh, I'm a little bit surprised that he just handed us the, uh, the gold. I don't know, is, is it because we're, like, covered in blood or something, or...? That's interesting. Huh. I hope you're here for friendlier reasons now. Hmm. After all, I'm all paid up. You must have heard about the, the fight that we got into, right? Alright, let's go turn it in. Yes? Ah, random guy. Edge. So let's see, we are looking for... Brynjolf, there he is. So, job's done and you even brought the gold. Best of all, you did it clean. I like that. Dumping bodies and keeping the guards quiet can be expensive. Hmm. Here's what they owed us. Well done. And it would seem I owe you something in return. Here you go. I think you'll find these quite useful. Granted gold and a bunch of potions. Okay. Uh, what's next then? Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. Uh, if there's more gold, then yeah, heck yeah. That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. Uh, before we go, apparently I have a question. What's on your mind? Uh, why isn't the Thieves' Guild doing so well? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Sure. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? All right. Ah, oh, crap, I'm over-encumbered. Uh, let's, uh, let's grab a snack here. Let's see. Some of this. Perfect. Oh, I'm glad everything is working now. Like, I thought they were running up to greet us, and then they just started, like, fighting Mercer, us. This is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. You do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Uh... Yeah, sure. Good, then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. If so, let her prove it. Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Brynjolf will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Yay. Welcome to the family, lass. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin, so don't disappoint me. And I think that might be our episode for the day. 
uh, selling some of our stolen goods, right? So getting getting set up with our fence, and then we'll collect our new armor. I think it's you? So you're the new recruit, huh? Well, looks like you and I are gonna have to get very well acquainted. Why is that? I'm the fence down here. You come by anything you don't exactly own, and I'll pay you some coin for it. Minus a little slice for the guild, of course. I can also provide a few supplies useful to our trade now and again. For a small fee. Uh, is there anything you don't charge for? Sure. How about I get Dirge to knock you over your head and dump you into the cistern? Look, I've been in this business a long time, and I've seen all types. You can play it tough, or you can play it smart. Whatever. At the end of the day, you'll find that all we care about down here is how much gold you can make us. Okay. Good. Then there isn't much more to say. Here's your armor. Just make sure you put it to good use. Excellent. Let's take a look at the armor. Alright then. Why are you standing on your chair? It's very dramatic. So, what do we got? Uh, here's our Thieves Guild equipment. So, we are- remember, we already have gloves here. That makes pickpocketing 20% easier, right? We're actually gonna put them on right now. We have boots. That makes pickpocketing 15% easier. Nice. We will upgrade to those. Um, they're not as good as our scaled boots armor-wise, but maybe we can get them kind of polished up a little bit. For the chest plate, which has an armor of 168, this is slightly below, but it increases our carrying capacity. We're probably gonna sell that. After all, walking around with armor like this is super suspicious. But, I don't know, maybe we'll take the whole set. We'll see. As for the gloves, this this boosts your lockpicking. Interesting. I don't know if that's really valuable enough for us to keep. And then the hood does haggling plus 10. Again, not really fantastic, right? I mean, I guess 10% better prices is reasonably good, but also we uh, we aren't wearing our cloak, so we're gonna put that on. <clears throat> Overall, kind of underwhelming, I gotta be honest here. They're, especially this, they, they're probably worth more to us as gold, just the raw gold. We will keep the boots because they increase our pickpocketing. Welcome so. to the cozy little... F I give special yeah. rates to members of the Thieves Guild. Oh, wow. Show me what you've got. Dwarven Dagger of Draining. It's out of our price range. Um, anything else? Yeah, like weapons that are just kind of too much. Some potions we don't really care about. Yeah, she doesn't really have all that much for sale. But that's okay, because we have some stolen items that we want to sell. Right? So our statue of Bella. Get rid of that. What else we got here? The, uh, she's, uh, freaking 81 gold for fire salts? I used to, I'd rather use them at that price. Goodness. So we'll sell all of the, uh, the stolen potions we have here, though. Definitely get rid of all these. Um, I think we'll use the venom, right? And then this thing, this, oh, she doesn't have enough gold. Look at that, she only has 371 gold instead of uh, enough. Is there anything we can buy back from her, maybe? I guess we could buy that. Oh, that, okay, that is worth 5,000 gold. We can't afford that, unfortunately. Uh, anything we can afford? Well, what about some of these potions here? They're all fortify, right? You buy the statue of Devella. We really wanted one, but I don't think I don't think we're very sentimental when it comes to items, right? We're really prioritizing getting our skills up. So, as nice as this is, we don't really care. I guess we'll buy the Peridot back, right? And that will allow us to sell this. So, kind of a trade, right? Um, we're not gonna sell any of these because I think we'd be better off selling them to, like, an actual smith. And, uh, that's it. I think that's it for, other than the spider venom, we've sold, and, and then the ingredients. The ingredients we'll use. But that's pretty much it, right? She gives such a terrible deal for everything else. Until next time. Okay, excellent. 
Um, why don't, now that we're up to 2,000 gold, we can probably get some training. All eyes are on you, lass. Yeah. Don't disappoint Before us. Before we begin, I want to make two things perfectly oh. clear. Okay. One, I'm the best infiltrator this rat hole of a guild's got. So if you think you're here to replace me, you're dead wrong. And two, you follow my lead and do exactly as I say. No questions, no excuses. Oh, you don't have to be so insecure. Back off, I know the no, drill. No, you I like. I've been getting sick of the pushovers that usually walk in here. I think you and I are going to get along just fine. You launch yourself on that now it's time to get your feet wet. And I don't want to waste a lot of time talking about anything but business. Uh, what sort of I'm business? I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. We're in a bad way down here. Why? Who knows? Old Delvin thinks it's some kind of curse. I think he's crazy. If you nice. want my opinion, I'd say it's just plain old bad luck. So what can we do? You can get out there and start making a name for us again. Make them start fearing us like they did long ago. Hmm. And while you're at it, make a little bit of coin on the side. Not a bad deal, eh? Not bad. Now you train in lock picking. Lock picking is kind of one of the most painful things to train, in my right. opinion. But if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. And so that's one of the reasons that I really prefer to just spend the gold on it. Right, so, uh, okay, here we go. We got four levels. Ow. It's always so painful to do this. But we're gonna sell a couple of other items, right? Um, who else can we get training from? So there was Vex, and then there was one other person, I thought. But, I don't know, that should be good. Anyway, that is how we're going to be ending our episode for today. We uh, we have some excellent new armor, right? We uh, are going to sell everything that we have. We'll probably be back up to at least several thousand gold. And then we will prioritize, most likely, learning more about the Thieves Guild in the next episode. And then we're going to be getting all of those marks of Dibella, getting our speech level up so we can actually make more gold from what we sell, and we'll continue our mission to becoming a super powerful assassin. So thank you all so much for hanging out. Hope you all have a wonderful night.